This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Hey guys, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 656. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA, or the hotbed of indie wrestling, as I like to call it these days. And we'll talk about why that is, because we got so much happening with us. It's hot in here. And and why am I wearing a sweater? Because it's so hot in here. But first of all, where it's a lot cooler, we have our good friend up in Beacon, New York. He is the only Mayhemer with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike. Sorg, you said there's a lot happening in wrestling. You ain't lying. Oh, we'll get to the lion jokes in a moment. Mainstream Matt is here, pre-gaming his uh, Mayhem Mania. Uh, I, I can't come up with a lion pun. I'm sorry. That was all. I, hi. 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 <laughs> and why is that? Because it is getting Liddy up in here, the main event, and Liddy the Lion with us, dressed yes. as dressed up as usual. And I, I didn't realize I did not have you guys on in all of 2018. Nope. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know why. I know. You know why. <laughs> Yeah. We didn't have those belts. We didn't have those scraps. Yeah, there might be. There might be. That might be the case then. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. We know how it goes, man. It gets very political. We don't have those straps. Yeah. Well, you know how wrestling is. You, yeah. know. you know. Well, you know, we we had to get Jackson Argos on for that third or fourth time last year. Yeah, right? Right. We didn't. We we had a mascot. We still didn't get on. So, uh-huh. and we had to get the belts with the mascot. And then things start to change. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Liddy the Lion is with us here. Uh, this is going to be more of a visual offering, I think, for you guys uh, uh, this week. Because you got to see Liddy in action here. Representing. He is dressed up. Liddy the Lion. If, if you don't know, go out. Uh, Liddy the Lion on Instagram, I believe, is the account. Right? Yep, yep. There you go. He's giving me the points. Um, and you can you can see what we're looking at right now for the most part. <laughs> Here, I mean, what is he? What is he? What is he? L- Liddy is the best dressed person on this show since DJ Lunchbox hosted the Mayhemies. That's right. That is true. That is that's, true. That's true. That's true. But of course, but of course, Duke Davis with us as well as Gannon Jones Jr. And going? you guys are uh, currently, uh, among other things, the the IWC Tag Team Champions. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Belts are belts are in tow as well. I think they're That's off right. camera, but yeah, they're off camera. Here, we'll put them up. There you go. There you go. Put them up. Show off the gold a little bit there. <laughs> yes, sir. There you go. Back in the fold, of course. We'll talk with you guys a little bit about what's going on. The latest, a lot of stuff going on with you guys. They like said and in wrestling and everything. Um, but anyways, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com where you can find links to subscribe to us in podcast and video form. Like I said, you might want to check a little bit of the video this week. Uh, also, you can drop us a line at that email address. Good times! Good times, Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com and 412-206-WMS0. Tweet us at Mayhem Show, Facebook page, and group Wrestling Mayhem Show, including the Facebook Live that we do here every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. You can join us in the chat room like our good friends Alex from California, both Alex's from California, Dave Ponder of the Tiny Shutter Podcast. Oh, Matt, Matt Carlin's is here, too, but he joins us in the chat room, too, and everybody else hanging out all night long. It's a Tuesday night wrestling party, and we're glad you could join us. Uh, also, thanks to our streaming par- partners, the 405media.com, that carries us at 9 p.m. Pacific time, midnight Eastern, so you can follow sweet to the sweet sounds of mayhem. Mm. Also, thank you everybody for supporting us on patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Everybody is ramping up for that Patreon in the bank season. And I've been seeing them come in here uh this week. Uh I don't think my my Thing has been updated so i'll make sure i get you guys in the right slot here uh first of all our friends at the fan of the show one dollar level Bo diggity Woo! as well as ed burke bobby fg town and tina keys and at the pocky club five dollar level our friends at occupy pro wrestling 
Bradley Ruthers, Doc Remedy, Dave Potter, and Kyle Turner. And I believe back to the Pocky Club level is the Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment. Uh, readying ourselves for Patreon. Readying yourselves bank. for Patreon in the bank. I think uh, I might have mentioned to my wife what the $5 level is going to do and she immediately wait, 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 wait. upped our contribution. Wait, wait, wait. Is this wait, insider oh, that, she information? Might, might have been a little bit That's of like collusion, Patreon sir. pillow talk collusion. going on there. And uh, I might have let, you know, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anybody else well, married? Anybody else I married around here? Lydia, are you married? Lydia, you know, right? The women, right? Sometimes. Anyway. Well, he's not I'm okay. married. Just for that, I'm doing the ten dollar level. You so you better make it better, man. There you go. Also, the ten dollar level is the Pizza Club. Ten dollar level, the our friends at thewrestlingrevolution.com. You can contribute and see what the pillow talk is about at patreoncom <laughs> slash wrestling mayhem show. I'm I'm working on my segways, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, so <laughs> there was okay. a segue was moving backwards. So there is a lot of wrestling that happened this week. There is a lot of of. Uh, uh, face punching happening in arm bars and things like that we did not get to do the wrap-up so i promised mike that we i'd let him have uh at least like two minutes to to rant about raw last night there you go there you go there, there, there you got the wrap-up in the in. <laughs> we had some tactical issues because um um most of this equipment was recording impact wrestling a few days ago uh so that 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 got didn't get together entirely but uh which which i know kills mad mike Oh no, see, so it killed his internet too. Oh no, he's gone. Oh no, he's Goodbye, gone. Mad Mike. Mad Mike. Oh, Mad Mike. Mm. He's frozen. Oh no. Oh, well, that oh he's back. He's, he's back. back. Okay. I don't know what there just happened. There. I don't know. What were you trying to say? I said, are you saying that Impact ruined our show for once? No, 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 no. <laughs> Jeez. No, no. Some great stuff happened, including watching Sammy Callahan drink mop water. That was. Wow. Uh, are, wait, hold on. <laughs> did we redefine the word great what's that did we redefine the word great because that sounds terrible that way well, and i'm trying to remember if it was before or after that he uh put one of my microphones in his mouth and i'm not going to tell you guys which one it was i hope it was this one in front of my face it's probably yeah, the one that was, smells uh, like mop water uh, and and chewing tobacco i understand anyways uh other than that uh so 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 big things on raw last night big did we even do talk about big dave coming back last week oh katie just popped up oh, out of nowhere hi. it's just like <laughs> how does that yeah, i know you were off. watching raw with us last well, night well, there's some indie things that happened on raw last she night yes America. we had some friends friends of the show friends of the show definitely appeared on the show, mm -hmm. friends of the show. not the, you no not you liddy mm -hmm. not yet not, not yet. yet one day so who popped up last night we had what mambo and mambo, mambo talked about mambo. Mambo. uh pb smooth mm -hmm. was on there he's a very tall caboose yes he had a very fancy hat yes <laughs> he does have a huge butt yeah <laughs> <laughs> what the hat evens out the butt Yes. And, yeah, I thought booty meat meat or something. Booty meat. Was he dropping it low? Yeah. Television? Uh, he was in a conga line. Ah, uh, yes, I heard about that. Yeah, probably have more Still friends a big next booty. week. <laughs> what's what's that, Mad Mike? I said there's probably gonna be even more friends next week. Yeah, probably since they're coming to uh, uh, Cleveland and Pittsburgh for the pay per view and and things like that. <laughs> Katie, Katie is is what are you doing? You keep touching. Are you trying to pet Liddy? Yeah. Stop following my cat. Fresh over here. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the first time yeah, Darius has been fascinated by a tall cat. <laughs> That's right. Anyways, <laughs> Mike. Uh, yeah. Mike, last night on Raw. Uh, the the Shield sword. Oh, the Shield. I even I forgot about the Shield. Yeah, so, the the Shield. The Fist Brothers are back. The Fist Brothers. Oh, you know well, we they, found they out that uh, they're brothers. They're for the Fist Brothers. Dean Ambrose is uh has his own blanket fort in the uh, basement of the arenas now, where he hides <laughs> out. <laughs> Fort yeah. Ambrose. Fort Ambrose. Uh, so I guess you know, have they have they said on on T? They said actually on Raw about his contract going out. Yeah, I still don't buy it. Yeah, now I'm really not. Now, now I'm not buying it. So <laughs> the more <laughs> they like, admit it, the more it's not real. Right? <laughs> the more he shows up yeah. on TV, and the more they talk about it, I'm like, well, maybe maybe this is a thing where they're not really, maybe, or maybe it was a thing. Another maybe Especially they sorted it out. Renee I don't know. Said she Renee said he was going to greener pastures, and Corey was like, "There's no greener pastures." <laughs> that, that is kind of a weird thing to say when you're you are WWE, 
and and like there's not much competition right now. That's why I was great. Like it'd be yeah. really funny if Ambrose just ends up resigning and they're just trolling AEW on the commentary. That could be. That could be a little bit. Um, we'll see how that turns out. Um, apparently, uh, Batista hates Pittsburgh still. Sorry, Dave. Oh boy, is he in for a welcome back next week? Huh? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be great i mean to be <laughs> fair he did spare us from hearing rick flair giving a really long speech at his birthday party. Hey, you watch your mouth duke, duke duke is not happy about that you watch Mike. your mouth sir duke were you sad when uh rick flair didn't come out don't speak about rick flair in that manner <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like you got a new challenger forget ray romad mike that's fine i'll i think on all comers <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, See you soon, pal. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about it. yeah, you you guys are going to run into each other sooner or later here. Oh, uh, <laughs> sure. Mike's definitely got to get down for an IWC show. It's been a while. Oh, it, it's been a while. It's been a, it's been a hot minute. When last time a... you were here, man? When last time? Hmm? You was here, when was the last time you were here? Oh God, a couple of years ago. Was it Nice Superstars? No. I oh, think... last time I was on an IWC show. Yeah. Ooh. I know I'm it's making you veer off topic, but it was probably a Cage Fury. Yeah, no, I think it was Cage Fury. Yeah, uh, maybe no excuses. No excuses. Jeez. What? Yeah, it's been it's been a while. You no, know, you run last, that show the anymore. Last, <laughs> <I've been laughs> down there. They run that show in Cleveland now. I think. <laughs> Don't the, they? La- the last couple times I've been to Pittsburgh, uh, there have not been shows running that weekend. That's a, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Related news: I did find a a show in Fort Worth, Texas, for this Saturday when I'm down there, and uh, ah. Shane Strickland is on the show. Okay. Nice. I don't, I don't know anybody else on the show that I've seen so far. It's Metroplex Wrestling down there. Metroplex uh, Wrestling. Metroplex Wrestling. I know, like the Transformer, apparently. So, <laughs> right. Sorry. So they they kind of got my attention, <laughs> uh. But anyways, uh. Also, apparently Ronda Rousey is uh, mad at all of us. Oh, she's off the reservation, man. She's... Um, have you did you see her <laughs> new um her new merch? Yeah, what's her new merch, Mike? She has three new shirts. Three. One. I saw yeah. one. <laughs> she's got three new shirts. One that says "Screw the Woo." One that says "Damn the Man." One that says "No More Mrs. Nice Bitch." Why three new shirts? I saw that on, uh, on on Twitter. It was like flashing different shirts. I think that's like you should go with one. Like damn, the man should be the one. And just go. Yeah, on. damn, the man should be the one. But like, none of them are really great. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike's not going to be sporting those ones. I see. I, well, I mean, I don't give a damn about reputations. So it's <laughs> all right. Have you ever uh, seen the movie uh, Empire Records? Uh, damn the man save the motherfucking empire! Absolutely, bam. There I would, you go. That's I why I was born. On, I was born on Rex Manning Day. Ooh, where are you? April eighth, Rex Manning Day. <laughs> that explains everything. That's... Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Say no more. That's a close tie to that movie. That's a scary <laughs> close tie to that movie. <laughs> no, I actually I I realized it afterwards because I was just looking up like, like I saw a whole bunch of people tweeting Happy Rex Manning Day on my birthday. I'm like. Holy shit, is today Rex Manning Day that I watched the movie again? I'm like, son of a bitch, it takes place on my birthday. All right. Um I'll take it. And, and confirming, confirming for uh, Tina out there, yeah, she's selling these these t-shirts independently. They are not on WWE shop. Oh, uh, oh, oh yeah. These oh, are yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're not. So I'm trying different. to find side hustle. Yeah, it's yeah. her side hustle. Is it pro wrestling <laughs> tees? No, it's her site. <laughs> That'd be a little weird. <laughs> RondaRousey.com. RondaRousey.com. They have. I'm trying to pull them up here on her site. Here, you would think they'd be on the Twitter. There it is. I don't think they would put bitch on it. No, I don't think they're yeah, going to put Charlotte just Charlotte just quote tweeted her like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> Rasslin, wait, 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 wait. Let's say let's look at Ronda Rousey's website for a moment. All right, while you go look at Dojo, that, just, uh... Rasslin, classic, my life on the road shop. Here, wait, let's go to the shop. Let's see what, and there oh, it is. I don't know about that font choice. Wait, what is it? Let's critique Ronda Rousey's Ronda website. Rousey's. <laughs> yeah, we're at it. Hmm. Wow. Uh, well, I guess she can do that, but uh, but it'll be great when she wears that to uh, the show next week. Oh, uh, let's hope so. Oh, she's definitely not wearing it. Oh, just hope. I'm buying all these I shirts. I don't know, so man. Wear that one. 
You're gonna have no more Mrs. Night Nice Bitch. You're yes. gonna you're gonna wear that. We'll wear that in the gym. <laughs> 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 See if anyone says anything like that. Hey, no, all right, come on. I'm telling you, I'm wearing, I'm, I'm copping at least two of these shirts. <laughs> <I'm at least laughs> two. Someone tell me which shirt I should get. Uh, let's, yeah, see. Gotta, you know, let's see. Let's pick one of the three here. No, out of the people that's listening, comment, say what's going around the Rosie site, and pick the two shirts you want. Duke Davis to wear in the gym. I don't know. All I see is the no more Mrs. Nice bitch. As far as like the ones we're talking about, there's the born ready ones. Um, am I missing something here, Mike? I, really I don't know. I saw I saw it pop up on Twitter, yeah, but man. maybe they're just not available. Um, how about the um, "Don't be a DND"? Uh, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I, there I, you go. How about that one? And she's like, I don't know, on her bed in a sports bra. I, I don't know. Someone bring me up to speed yeah. on that. I, what's a DND? Can somebody Can we, link me that? Do nothing. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Buy them all. No, I'm serious. No, it's a do nothing bitch. Oh, okay. Do nothing bitch. Oh, I'm definitely yeah. getting that. One. <laughs> that sounds like that's your. That sounds like that's, that's your speed. Nice. Oh, I'm this thing yoked and, I'm gonna know. get that one for Jackie Moon's birthday. <laughs> Jackie Moon. Jackie Moon. How is Jackie these days? I uh, can't talk about. It. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to find your third shirt. Um, how about the one that's just like the side of her head, here in uh in like digital. I don't know. It's her signature. It's like they made a, a signature shirt. Of her. Anyways, oh, we, yeah. now that we've uh, wardrobe Duke Davis for uh, his uh, workouts. This, this uh, uh, so, yeah. can we talk about how terrible Ronda Rousey is at being a heel? Oh. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't think the issue is, as, you know, obviously Ronda's part of the issue, but the issue is like this whole goddamn storyline has gone off the rails, Sorg. Okay. Like, they literally were handed, you know, a red hot main event for WrestleMania. Becky, Ronda. Done, right? No. They had to take like this winding, like 365 mile out of their way journey. Someone gets suspended, the knee injury, whatever the frick that is supposed to be all about. First of all, stupid. Yeah. It's all dumb side quest bullcrap. Yeah, I, think, I, think <laughs> right now, if, if I can't think of a better way to describe it. Was that my side quest? If the road to WrestleMania was the road to Mordor, we're somewhere in the middle of the movie Two Towers. Are there walking trees yet? Is that, is that what's happening? Yeah. Yeah, Braun Lashley. Okay, <laughs> that's actually no, not too far off. Uh, and the shield has to oh, run to, and oh. the shield is the fellowship, and they're running through the trees. And yeah, of course. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, all right. And then Dean is absolutely legless. Okay. No, uh, actually, that's a lot. No, that's weird. But Rollins is legless. Dean is like Gimli. Can I ask a question real quick? Maybe you have a. Maybe I have well, many questions. You can just questions. hear Dean say, "You have, have my axe." Have you guys have have? So I, I missed the whole thing. Right, I'm, I'm a little old. But did I hear that the shield reformed? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Again, they're gotcha. back here. Uh, Roman is back from leukemia. That gotcha. sounds weird. Um, <laughs> and and they're talking Dean into. Uh, uh, Seth said he's going to put all this feud behind him that uh, him and Dean went through the last like you know, all the several and months. Fuss. And uh, and they're getting the band back together one last time. Before Dean goes off to the AEW or whatever, the greener pastures, or just you know greener, greener pastures. Pa- <laughs> and the thing is, oh that- guys, do you think Dean's getting sent up to a farm upstate? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. to- anyway, it only oh. took him two hours, so it, it, you know it's not like Dean just gave in right away. I mean, they, there was a lot of you know negotiating and pleas and a lot of that. It took him two hours, but eventually, yeah, they it basically Dean took him watching his friends get their asses kicked. As it usually, that's what it tends. They talked him into yeah. it. That was typically the by, uh, by the by the team of tall guys. Oh uh, no, uh, Sorg! I I saw this joke on Twitter. We're officially calling them three man bland. Oh, that's ooh. not nice to Drew. We're that's not great. calling them that. Drew ooh. Drew can do better. Drew so McIntyre will not be happy I, about this. No. So we're talking about Corbin. McIntyre and, and Lashley. Lashley, yes, yeah. that's a lot of man. There are yeah. three man bland. <laughs> yeah. I and mean, Leo is the hornswoggle role. Leo really should just do the talking for all three of them. Um, Leo should just leave and go to SmackDown where he can actually do shit. And just have killer matches with uh, uh, Mustafa Ali when he gets better. Yes, or, or Kofi. God, you need Leo Rush for Daniel Bryan, please. Yeah, oh, that's great. Yeah, that'd be great. I mean, the five minutes of Leo Rush and Finn Balor that I got a couple weeks ago was just magical. So let's mm-hmm. let's just do more of this stuff. Shout out to Leo. He's from the DMV. From the what? He's from the DMV. He's from Maryland. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Um, 
No one cares about that. So people from that area. <laughs> <laughs> like we might this. have a couple people out there. Who knows? So uh, anything else on the main show uh, going on? We're, we're doing, we did the switch up. I think we talked about it because it happened during the show last week. Kevin uh, Owens uh, took over for Kofi. So they're doing this uh, Vince Knows Better thing over there, too. Mm. Um, yeah, this is this is a curious, a curious, I think, overarching theme. This is going to be a very McMahon mania again. Can I say something I really fast don't about like that? that? That's we what you're were here on for. The way back from uh, Quaker City Wrestling. Yeah, in Salem, that's Ohio. a shameless plug right there. So we're going to get paid for that. Yeah. Uh, so we were coming back, and he <laughs> pulled up the pay per view on his phone. We were watching it, and uh, it, Elimination Chamber. Elimination Chamber. It pulled at the heartstrings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I love seeing. I love when they make they bring you in a little bit. Mm-hmm. I love when they bring you in and then they cut you off. Mm-hmm. I think deep down we all knew he wasn't going to win. No, that. Um, but but they but they, they trolled us. They did. Uh, there they was did. a glimpse so where you really thought, possible, like, oh, well, maybe. And that was probably the first time in years that I was like literally invested in a match. Like this is so cool. Yeah. This what if he actually wins? He did, and I was like, "Okay, this is this is why." <laughs> <laughs> to the point where they had things on WWE.com of five reasons Kofi Kingston should win the belt this weekend. <laughs> Just like, wait a minute, wait a minute, guys, what are we doing? Well, you know, the weird thing is, this is all completely by accident. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like this was supposed to be Mustafa Ali. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like it was supposed to be Mustafa Ali getting the big rub. I'm assuming and everything like that, but. You know, they well, just kind of got handed gold because, like, oh, right, Kofi Kingston's been here for, for over a decade and has never gotten a real chance. Mm-hmm. Like, I really like it, the fact that uh, maybe they're listening to the crowd a little more. Mm-hmm. Like in wrestling, sometimes you do your thing and you're just you're just into doing your thing and you forget about listening. I think they kind of listen to the crowd a little bit, read a couple tweets a little bit from people that were in the in the scene. Uh, Cause Kevin Owens shouted out Kofi Kingston too in his uh, gauntlet match, and they're still like, I, I from what I'm hearing from SmackDown, like they're like K- Kevin's still, you know, face going into this, you know, mm-hmm. has been like, hey, you know, too bad I took this out of Kofi, but you yeah. know, you know, still that guy should get a shot kind of thing. I want to, you know, he's playing nice with him or something. Right? Well, Ke- Kevin Owens is really the only character who has kind of the depth of acting needed to be like. Like, like if he was just a straight heel, he'd be like, "Yeah, of course I'm. Yeah, of course I deserve this. Screw you, Kofi." Mm-hmm. A fi- like, if he was a true face, like, no, I don't want to do this, to Kofi Kingston. He's my friend. But Kevin Owens is like, "Well, yeah, it's unfortunate, but what am I gonna do? Turn this down? No, I'm not gonna turn it down." Mm-hmm. Like, th- I don't know many other people, like on the active roster, that could pull that off with it's- such. And how people believe middle of the road mm-hmm. like Kevin Owens, because mm-hmm. at any point you could just see him power bomb Kofi into the apron, yeah. or you could see him caught like attack Daniel Bryan to give Kofi another shot. And that's the you great thing. You could see either one because we're waiting for something like that to happen. And yeah, exactly. You know, and you know what? That means they're doing a, they're doing their job because we're we're talking about it. We're waiting for it. Absolutely. Uh, well, a uh, lot of stuff going on. Uh, of course, Fastlane is this weekend. Uh, so going to be checking that out. And, of course, that is happening in Cleveland. And I believe a few of us will be at Raw next Monday to see if uh, David Deezer. By the way, we did offer this on Twitter. Uh, I did tweet uh, Big Dave and at Triple H. So if he hates uh, Pittsburgh so much, at least we can offer him a neutral ground right here at Beachview at Sorgatron Media uh, if they're in their neighborhood. Just, just saying, the offer is out there. I, I sent him a picture of Shawn Michaels standing out front, so hopefully that helps uh, smooth things over. Uh, you know, I mean, just, I mean, they're buddies, you know, neutral Sorg, ground. You should have I mean, sent, sent a picture of Shawn Michaels holding Groot. We do have a Groot! That, there you go. I will work on that. You really should have. You you Sorg, you have to appeal to the animal and the destroyer. You have to appeal to both of them. Yes, absolutely. I like how, Mike, Mike, or, I like how he thinks. Or, or he could be standing out front, very still, right now, waiting for the moment. And we wouldn't know it. We'd have no idea. <laughs> We'd no. have no clue. No I, idea. I routinely just throw shit around any room I'm in just to make sure that Batista is not, not standing in the room. Yes, because you're never sure. Um, well, no. You, you, sorry. Here's a hint. Here's a helpful hint from Mad Mike. You go, to, you go to your local Walmart or Walgreens or whatever you got. Get one of those bottles. 
like the little spray balls with a misting fan. Wait, like the ones it's, that I punished the cat with? Yep. It's how you can tell if there's a Batista in your room. That, <laughs> that's sensitive topic. That, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Liddy. I'm sorry about that. He doesn't like hearing about spray bottles. No. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right. guys. I, I got to admit, Liddy is very well trained. Good. I mean... Right. I mean, Liddy can tie a tie. That's better than me. Yeah, I mean, I can't. <laughs> I can't. How really do you, well trained? How do you even get that tie like so perfect with like <laughs> with o- with only three fingers? I I just don't like that's like that. Phys- uh, yeah, he's a professional. Man. He is a professional. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Jeez. He is, he's now he's now cleaning himself on the show. You gotta do what you gotta there do. There you go. That's I mean, the grooming is important. I mean. It's not the first time someone's cleaned themselves on this show. Let's be clear. That is true, <laughs> and you never know who may have and who may you may see on the big stage someday, like our good Jimmy friends, Marco. like Jimmy <laughs> Demarco. Uh, anyways, you never know. Hey, are you a fan of NXT? And uh, and oh, hell, h- half of this stuff on here, a lot of familiar faces making it on our Monday and Tuesday nights. And other places like AEW and uh, Ring of Honor uh, that we've seen around the Pittsburgh area, the Cleveland area, the West Virginia area. Uh, the next batch of young talent is uh, you can check them out over at IndieWrestling.us and the Indie Wrestling Network, IndieWrestling.network, including Rise Wrestling with a Y, uh, including uh, Prospect Pro Wrestling, RWA, Fight Society, Angel Gate, Water Rate Wrestling, and so much more between the network and between the .us VODs. DVDs available for some shows. Uh, go check them out, including these guys. The main event yeah. are included in that Duh. too. All We're over all the place. Over. Just look them up. We're all over across yeah. multiple promotions, multiple multiple pairs of gold mm-hmm. that you've held. Different states currently holding. Different states currently holding. Mm-hmm. So right now, not just the IWC champion, what the premier tag the premier tag team champions. Yeah. Yeah. You you got one over uh, Crumbles and Defarge, huh? We did. We. we Finally did. It took a while. Didn't it? it took a while. Those guys are good. Yeah, those uh, guys are pretty crazy. They're yeah. very inventive tag team maneuvers. They are. We didn't realize that the first time we got in the ring with them, but uh, we figured it out. Yeah, they got a lot of inventive, creative offense. Yeah. Yes. For sure. Some great stuff going on over there. And, of course, um, this past weekend's Rise uh, is on there, including the mm. Rise Wrestling Tag Team Tournament. I know you guys <clears throat> did not have a good mm. outing that night. It went a little south. There was a getaway car involved. And I yeah. believe, um, well, there was a message from Ty Cross in the chat room. said, how's everybody's night? I'm doing Who great. Who the fuck is that guy? Yeah, well, apparently he's a Rise Tag Team Champion That's right a now, good Mike. good question. I don't yes. remember anything. Which, don't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> All I remember, I saw uh, a steel chair coming at me, and I forgot everything else. Yeah. So, the mics went pretty much blank after that. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have the rest of it on VOD and on the network right now. We're getting a lot of hearts <sighs> from Ty Cross. Yeah, someone hey. let me know what happened. Yeah. Has, has anyone ID'd the wheel man yet? I'm, I'm still not counting out Rikishi. Myself. Oh my goodness. Was it you, Liddy? <laughs> Was it you? Yeah, well, you I don't know. Does anyone have anything Boutte? against The Rock? Because that's, that's who Rikishi does stuff for. That's right. You're he's right. he's busy right. with that movie. Um, well, speaking of uh, a couple things that we put on there, um, uh, I know Matt, we were doing IP for you, of course, for WrestleRex main event. You guys were busy in there yes, in the we opening were. match. Of course. <laughs> Stay busy. Yeah. Uh, an opening match for WrestleRex, the first ever WrestleRex mm-hmm. event. Uh, from the same guys that put together the Lucha the Lucha Fiesta that was literally across the street from our studio several months ago. Uh, I'm going to toss the mainstream, Matt, because you were in the audience for this event. Oh, and yeah. I, 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 and, 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 you know, this was an experience. Yeah. Scary but fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that, That's what happened. That would be the tagline for WrestleRex 2. Yeah. Scary but fun. Yeah. This one was crazy. Taco, this one was tacos, beer, and wrestling. <laughs> it was. It was crazy. If they, they, all right, so they had it in a um, they have an old movie theater in uh, on the south side of Pittsburgh called the Rex. Mm-hmm. It's been there since like I don't know the dinosaurs. And um, T Rex. <laughs> yeah, it's a T Rex. That's what it's named after, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, the um, the, 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 the T Rex that uh, took on Wardlow for the, the IWC title uh, yeah. a couple years ago. <laughs> that's you a plug maniac. That's right. Yeah. Good. It all comes around. together, man. Um, so anyway, um, you know, it's been forever, you know, other than, you know, you know, you get your KSWA shows around town every once in a while, but no one really, I, I can't remember the last time anyone tried to run a show down on the South side before. So this was like a really unique event, very unique venue and li- literally 
no seating. Like, okay, there were some seats that were sold, but everything else is like that standing was like room. VIP on stage. Yeah. So you were like basically in like a stripped out movie theater. Um, very small stripped out movie theater. So there's no seats anywhere. There's some seats up on like a, uh, on a stage area. There's a taco thing going on in the corner. There's a bar in the back of the room and it's just, it's dark and there's just the, the DJs going. And, uh, yeah, like walking in there was, was a little, uh, was, was very cool. Like just a completely different vibe from, you know, any other indie show you would, typically see definitely anything you see around i, I have not the seen pittsburgh anything area. like this in the pittsburgh area they were like i said they were it, it looks like it, it, it's that 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 claustrophobic everybody's on the ring that you see from like beyond wrestling or the uh you know a lot of the british promotions and everything i think pwg lets guys stand up uh close to the ring too yeah 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 yeah, yeah. like so, stuff like that so what did you guys think about this tag team you guys faced the Man. King's Ransom is that who these guys were mm. first let's put i'd never seen show, these dudes the show was awesome coming out was great let's uh First, when we came out, like we didn't know what was going on as far as the seating. So we came out, we saw the fans there. Yeah, we saw the fans there. We were like, all right, we're going to jump in the crowd. But man, those those guys are great, man. King's Ransom, I'd love to see them again. They're awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Super strong. I mean, they look like they're big and strong. When you get in the ring with them, you're like, dang. Because I mean, mean, every time we wrestle, we happen to be the biggest, the biggest, the strongest in there. Locking up with those guys, you realize there's other big and strong guys out there and um you know they were they were uh super awesome and like duke said hopefully we do get to uh tango with those guys again at some point down the line that was the most interesting part was like seeing you guys against like a team that could really yeah. physically match up that was awesome Absolutely. physically okay. match up yeah I've seen a lot of dancing i mean the obviously they couldn't <laughs> Yeah. You know, because no, 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 I'm you know, agreeing with the you. proof was in the end. But yeah, yeah, I'm not agreeing with you. It was nice to see you guys, you know, face a challenge for once. Yes. Right? A challenge. Instead of just yes. steamrolling these other, you know, anyway. I you gotcha. Know. Yeah. Other, and then other people got to use different tactics to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they brought out facade. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so <laughs> so then they do this six man. All right. Or six way. And um the last guy out is Facade, and as Facade is like entering the ring, the announcer gets on the microphone. He's like, "Would everyone please step like three or five feet away from the ring?" And it's like it was almost like Facade is here. Will everyone please clear the area? And then you know those guys did their thing, and they were, man, they were going to the crowd. There were a couple. Uh, I won't lie, there were a couple near misses, uh, just from where I was. You know, some big dudes coming out of the ring. Where are you at, Matt? Where are you? Where I was standing? like. On like uh, near the taco stand, okay. Okay. about three or four guys <laughs> back burying. That's not it, gonna, it was weird because that's not going to help any of you guys at home. But for the, the rest stand. of us, that was I know there, exactly but. where you were at. Did you, did you get? Did you get a taco? I did not get a taco. I was too busy drinking beer. It was. It, it, it is um, the same crew taco wise that we have across the street here. Yeah. yeah. So. So. Yeah. yeah actually, so I mean, I so kind of like take it for granted because they're right there. Yeah. Okay. I, um, I legit got like a taco from the stand earlier. I'm like, well, I got the, I got it from the source. I'm good. I'm yeah. Good. Um, but, um, it, it, yeah, it, it was like varying degrees of how close I was to the ring because, you know, they were doing these five minute, they did a five minute break basically after every match. There was like, what, five I think matches? It was like 10. Yeah. It was like a, a five to 10 minute, minute break, depending yeah. on how they were feeling about things, which was at first, you know, the crowd was kind of like, this is weird. Um, but as like, once they understood kind of what the rhythm of the show was, it was, in my opinion, at least it was kind of cool because it let every match kind of. Stand, stand on its own yeah that was you know idea. and everyone got a chance to like take in the match and then you decompress um, you go to the bathroom you get a beer you get a taco mm-hmm. you come back yeah. and then um beast man comes out the beast man comes out and all hell breaks yeah. loose uh yeah. tina's saying king's ransom is uh pretty popular down in uh ovw area yeah, actually yeah. so mm-hmm. just yeah. a little scouting there yeah those guys they actually were in uh vegas uh for a little while mm-hmm. uh then they went down to louisville so they're making their way around. They're making their way around. Good. They're on our scouting report. Yeah, man. <laughs> you gotta keep up for the for the up and coming guys. We gotta you gotta watch out. Mm-hmm. We gotta yeah. film on everyone. Everyone. And of course, um, Sorg, we haven't even mentioned the the main event was uh, not this main event, oh, but the confused. the M A I N other event. We call it we call that the final match. Yeah, yeah the, the final, final match. match. <laughs> the last match. The last match <laughs> was um of course uh. Our boy Sam Adonis and our boy DJ Z versus our boys <laughs> Pentagon Junior in uh, Phoenix. Crazy! That, who, uh, I, I bought a I'm shirt from Phoenix. Drunk. I'm proud to say. 
Yes. Um, and I got to say hi to them and tell them that uh, I appreciate them. And I hope they understood what I said. I think Phoenix understood oh, what they, I said. They do. Yeah, Ray, yeah no, they do. understands. Yeah. Phoenix, yeah, they're good. Yeah. Phoenix, I think, speaks more, speaks more English than Pentagon does. Yeah, he, was, he yeah. definitely seems to be more comfortable um, with all that stuff. But, I mean, what can I say? Like, they're, they were super cool as far as interacting with the fans. They were just, like, holding court, you know, in front of the ring for everyone, you know. Yeah. There wasn't, like, a... You know, it wasn't like any VIP things. Like if you had a ticket, you came in before the show and you, you could walk up and say hi to them, and take a picture and, you know, buy some swag if you wanted to. And then they went out there and they put on a hell of a match. <laughs> and again, you know, a couple near misses for the fans outside. I think it's one of the security guys got squashed. Um, I think I think Bolin almost took some think, people out. Oh, my God. Bolin, that was a close one, too. Um I'm glad it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> there was a point where Bullet, it looked like he was taking a, you know, was going into the, the, the post with the shoulder and it looked like he just blew right through and, and into people's faces. He, he, yeah. he went right through on the, uh, on the corner charge, went out of the ring and landed at the feet of a small child. And everyone <laughs> kind of went, <gasps> and then we all checked and kid oh, was all right. And we were what like, was yeah. that, what was that a uh, tagline you had for the show? <laughs> scary but fun. <laughs> scary but fun. <laughs> scary but fun. Parentheses and no one got hurt. You, so. And you, no one got hurt. People need to hear that. No yeah. one got hurt. No, yeah, exactly. No, 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 no. I mean, it, it really it is. It's, it's always like you know that that is such a unique venue and yeah. setup and everything. It's always going to be a learning experience, mm-hmm. and uh, I am very hopeful that they're going to do it again. And uh, it, I can I, probably ten times better next time they do it just because of what they would learn the first time it, around. it was cool because it was like a um you know I, I, I watch a lot of those old attitude era raws right and, and it felt like it, it like you look at the audience and it felt like a rock concert yeah. to the point where like i'm not just going to sit here and watch wrestling like if people yeah. are interactive and yelling and standing and you know you're going to get bumped into like when you're at a rock concert right and this one was legitimately like no you're going to stand there and you might get bumped into and it might be one of the wrestlers you know to the point of like you know how the singer will jump out at you sometimes right yeah um just i think this is these guys are bigger you guys obviously bigger than most rock singers i've seen Uh, you know it's very (laughs) ecw it is very like what's that show that's come on like uh was it live wire where they shot inside yeah shotgun shotgun Shotgun. yeah yeah shotgun saturday night Yeah. yeah So th- that type of feel. So I definitely understand where you're coming from. Yeah. And from that, I know you went to NXT on Friday night while I was uh, hanging out. In I wish Riz were here to talk about this. Oh, my God. Uh, we, we never, um, just because of the way um, we get our, our, our lucky enough to get our tickets, we never know quite where we're going to end up. Mm-hmm. We ended up in the front damn row for this <laughs> show. <laughs> and it still wasn't as close with as Wrestle me, Rex. <laughs> with me and my Wrestle son, Riz, yes. and my real son, um, <laughs> and my wife. And... Um, it was uh, it was Kyle O'Reilly's birthday, and it was just like it was the theme of the night was Kyle O'Reilly's birthday, and how many jokes can we make about Kyle O'Reilly's birthday, and you know how how many times can we interrupt the undisputed era trying to sing Happy Birthday to Kyle O'Reilly, and uh, it was just so cool because it's just like you can't you know that that show and the way that show was set up will not can't happen on any other day of the year. Mm-mm. It can only happen on Kyle O'Reilly's birthday. <laughs> so it was just it was just cool. It was it just had a very unique, um, you know, setup to it. And I really appreciated the fact that they kind of, you could tell that someone actually put the extra thought into how they were going to set up the show. Uh, and it was awesome. There, there were some fun clips out there. If you check the NXT social media, you'll find all that stuff. Um, the only other thing I want to mention about um, NXT, besides the fact that everyone was awesome on the show, was that um, Velveteen Dream is a damn rock star. Yes, he was he the is. main event of that show against Adam Cole, and he was like, I, I, just like, I mean, he just like everything changed the minute he comes out. It's amazing, like you can really like you could feel it, you he know, dem- in the arena. He demands attention. He does, mm-hmm. Absolutely. but in a nice way, like in an I want to give him attention kind of demands attention. But he was awesome. Um, everyone was awesome. They were great. Awesome, man. Other than that, you know, a lot of other great shows happening this weekend. Like I said, myself, I got to experience from the production size uh, uh, of going out to Rockstar Pro again with Impact Wrestling. And that uh, I believe you can still see that on the replay on the Impact Wrestling Twitch stream. I make a cameo when Sammy Callahan comes back to production during his street fight. Uh, and there's some gifts out there that I was sharing from that as well. That was interesting. Um, I, yeah, we lost some in the crowd. We were tethered and uh, all of a sudden I, he- I feel a hand on my back you know behind the crowd 
and uh, there's Sammy Callahan, and then I see myself on the monitors. Uh, that was fun. Uh, so, <laughs> but really, seriously, like, if you're like, if you can drive for a show or a date, and like, it's it's. Have you guys ever been out there for those? I know some people have that we've worked I with. I did one, uh, one show. It was Ludus, Ludic, Ludus. They do shows on Wednesdays too. Okay. So I was out there for their Friday show for Ludus. It's like a we did a we did a rumble at the old Rockstar Pro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were like in between buildings, and um, yeah. this one was at a convention center, so it was a little different. You know, it's kind of like with Revenge, how it's like that, uh, the, uh, the the ballroom kind of thing with okay. the carpeting and everything, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So, but uh, you know, but ni- nicer lights <laughs> at Revenge. <laughs> so, uh, but no, it was really interesting. Always great to work with uh, you know, uh, the Moore and, and Josh Matthews and the guys out there. <clears throat> uh, no matter what Mad Mike says about them. Uh, so, <laughs> to be fair, they still haven't unblocked me. So yeah, and I didn't get. Them. We were in a rush. I didn't get time to approach the subject with Josh Matthews about it. So no, it's, uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. No, it's fine. My my life has improved exponentially since I stopped watching. Oh, so. um, I got some links for you. I got some links for you. Anyways, uh, but but in the meantime, like I said, you know, we haven't had you guys on in far too long. Yeah. Way too long. You have Way too long, uh, a new member of the ma- the main event. Yeah, in Liddy. So, so tell us, so tell us how Liddy came into the picture here. You know, uh, you we want to, you want to yeah. I the mean, yeah. no, Mike, no, just... Mike, no, Lion King, <laughs> stop it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we, we honestly, we just, we just felt that we, uh, we reached the point where um, we deserved a mascot. You know, we're the, we're the best, you know, tag team in Pittsburgh by far. So we're like, you know what? Let's, uh, let's get a mascot. That's that's for, I feel like that's the next level. You know, we got the tag team titles. We're the best dressed. We put on the best matches. Let's get a mascot, and it just happened. And it emphasizes team. Mm-hmm. Having mm-hmm. a mascot. You know, you, a lot of tag teams just come out there to have matches, and they go back. We come out there with the mascot, and it makes it that much more interactive for people that's watching. Bring them in a little bit, and they get to take pictures with. A lady lion. I mean, you can't go wrong. Oh, yeah. Kids love him for some reason. I don't know yeah. why. It's brilliant. Yeah. Kids want to go up to him, give him a hug. So. Yeah. They, they walk right past us. Yeah, they don't care about us. <laughs> yeah. so. We're the guy with the lady, basically. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> He's the real star of the show. He is. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. That's good. That's great. So, I mean, have there been any, you know, other than that, any any uh, special moments with Liddy uh, that you've had since, since he's uh, hit the scene? Moment. Special moment. He got lost going back to the going back to the back. <laughs> Is that his first time coming? His out? first show, yeah. He had IWC. He uh, didn't know which way to go. He got lost. Mm-hmm. But uh the the first night he was at IWC was the night we won the tag team championship. So he's uh he's good luck as far as I'm concerned. As a matter of fact, we're undefeated with bringing him to the ring. Right? Yeah. Anytime yeah. we bring him to the ring, we, we win. Yeah. So what, what was the uh, what was the reaction? Do you remember the reaction from the crowd the first time Liddy emerged? Yeah, it was for your entrance. I think it was shocking because <laughs> no one knew what was going on. Yeah, it was like, oh, what is this? <laughs> and then uh, he started dancing, and then after that, it was like, oh, this is their mascot. <laughs> Got it. And then we came out, and it was like, oh, these guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> It just became a thing. So we came up with the idea like we were uh, we're on the road as usual. That's where all our ideas come from. We're on the road and we were just like, yo, we should we should get a mascot. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't one of those things where we were like, uh, we first we were like, how are we going to do it? And then a lot of things materialized so we can do it. And then once we got the mascot, we were like, well, we got to use them as soon as possible. So we couldn't wait for the first show. And it was it happened to be IWC. Yeah, we had a lot of things thrown around. Um, a mascot was at the top of the list. We uh, we also considered getting a um, like a bat boy or cheerleaders. Yeah, cheerleaders. Or were uh, nice. possibly hiring a uh, a head coach, maybe uh, yeah. just someone to keep balance. Maybe call out some plays. Or we may just see what Tomlin's doing in a couple of years because he probably get fired. So yeah, yeah. yeah well, <laughs> maybe we'll bring Tomlin on. Um, I don't know if AB is going to have a job. Have you, have you looked up the coach? 
that came out with what was it, Mr. Perfect? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, the coach. The yeah. coach. I was going to say no. You do not want the coach you anywhere near you. The no. Coach. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't last very long. Oh no, not that coach. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> coach. oh, you mean Coachman? Oh, the show yeah. Coach. No, that, um, I would think. No, there was a there was oh, a. Yeah, if, you get, if you could get Craig fine, T. Fine. Nelson, I mean, yeah, you definitely could. get Craig T. Nelson. No, no, we're talking about the coach that came out with Kurt Henning. Yeah. 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 I don't know. He didn't last that long. Kurhan no, he didn't. Dumped him pretty quickly for uh, Bobby Heenan. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what's uh, what's Bill Alfonso doing these days? Blowing a whistle? Yeah. Probably blowing a whistle. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, but it <laughs> feels like uh, yeah, we, we're all talking about like stuff that's been done. Like I've never seen a mascot. Yeah. With a tag team before. Like, have you ever? Like, has anyone come up to you and been like, "Man, I remember back in 1985 and blah 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 blah." This tag team did this, you know? No. Um, nope. the, this is totally unique. Yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, Swagger had a. The I was gonna say eagle. Swagger oh, had the soaring eagle. He yeah, did yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the soaring eagle. But as far as the tag team having a mascot, yeah, as far as I know, it's the first. Yeah. The soaring eagle didn't last very long. He had it, and then it kind of just. Yeah, they kind of got rid of him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. here. Liddy's here to stay. So <laughs> that's good. That's good. So is he is he out there to watch your back a little bit too? I mean, Tina's calling out. Uh, Tina from Seattle is calling out. Uh, uh, he should have brought him to rise. He could have prevented that chair shot. Ah, uh, right. you're right. Is that what happened? I got hit in the head. I think you did. I forgot because I was I literally couldn't walk, so you didn't see. So it. I couldn't stand up to see. Yeah, it. we probably needed we probably needed a lady on that one. Yeah, yeah. He's I really non confrontational, so I don't know yeah. what he would have done, but um, maybe he would have deterred the uh the the still chair shot. I'm not sure. Yeah, he gets a little nippy sometimes, so maybe maybe it'll bit him. Or Cat something. nippy. Cat nippy. Yeah. There is another. Oh. There is another famous wrestling mascot. You know, most fans might know um, from being the elite, uh, Bernard the Business Bear. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar, but do you think like Liddy versus Bernard? That sounds like a dream match. It does. It I mean, does. A I bear think versus a lion. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, King of the Jungle. Now, we'll see who if, wins. Man. If yeah. Liddy ever has like a like a hardcore match, can can. She, can he come out with a bag of catnip and treat it like thumbtacks? I don't know. Uh, lady, yeah, could you come out with a bag of uh, catnip, like the thumbtacks, sprinkle it in the ring, and then sprinkle it in the your finishing And go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just like that. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. But like, instead <laughs> of throwing someone else onto it, you just like pile onto it and you go like crazy Ronda Rousey mode. Oh, he throws himself on damn. it. Yeah. <laughs> About his reputation. <laughs> you, take, like, you, 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 you take like a ball of yarn. And you throw yeah, it at like, like, like a member of the other Liddy. team, and Liddy just like Attacks. goes like Liddy mode on him. Just you know, mm-hmm. don't get that's ugly. A great idea. Don't yeah. mention yeah. balls Liddy or mode, yarn sure. around Liddy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> he goes crazy. There's wow. no balls or yarn around here. Calm down. Calm well, down. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, there's a uh, one from uh, El Paso McZombie in the chat. Uh, <laughs> is it, I know who this is. Do you know who that is? I think I know who this okay. is. Okay, is it Barza? Isn't the Mexican Key Monito technically a mascot sized mascot? What? I don't know this. Key a, Monito? A mascot sized hmm. mascot? A mascot sized mascot. a picture mascot. of him. I can't, yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. Drop a mind. chat. Drop a... <laughs> like, like, is he is he suggesting that like uh, there are luchadors who are like, you know, their full body costume? Like, is Jushin Thunder Liger oh, a mascot guys. who just wrestles? Because oh, it's like the costume is just so. Kaiju Big Battle. Yeah, Kaiju Big Battle comes Lydia to town every once in a while. I mean, yeah, you yeah. see them him getting mixed up with that. Yeah. Or uh, have you seen there for that, Or yeah. have you seen the giant pandas from Japan? Yeah. We have seen those. Go ahead, yeah. Liddy versus the T Rex. We've already seen the T Rex. Yeah, that's oh, right. I mean, uh, what, I, I, think oh, the, guys, I think the bottom line on this is that like there's a lot of ground. Technically, the, the possibilities are endless. Yeah. I mean, Liddy just and the T Rex are both yeah. on the t- on the IWC guys, roster officially. Liddy yeah, versus right. Jeffrey the Giraffe. Oh god. Oh, okay. He's out of work right now. That's right. He should get into pro wrestling. He's just that's trying to right. book everybody, Mike. He's he's looking out for everybody. Right. So anyway, I, I mean, it's no surprises that Liddy's a already a, a favorite because like just seeing it, just having him around, you know, the imagination starts to just go yeah, crazy. You start thinking about weird yeah, things. All the things him. that you can do. It was a request <laughs> to have him here. So it, it was. Him. It was. I understand. Yeah. Uh, so. Desperately mm-hmm. wanted him here. It was, it was, it was the most requested guest on the show. Was unaffor- I'm sorry, guys, not you, but Liddy yeah. himself. <laughs> we're well, used he, to it. Yeah. He's part yeah. of the main event, so I'm, I'm fine with that. There you, know? you go. He's probably going to be interview of the year uh, for me. Right. This year. Next step is getting a <laughs> tour bus. Oh, <laughs> with a giant Liddy on the side. Yes. We've been looking into it. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah. out of the states. So, well, I'm sure I'm sure somebody's selling a Lex Express somewhere. Guys, uh, Liddy, yes. Oh wow. really? Oh, we're gonna have to check right, that out. Check yeah, that. we have to check that. Yeah. Out. yeah. Oh, the there's side? a link. I see the link. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, really? Okay, we'll we'll, we'll pull that up here real quick. Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll pull it up. Terrifying. We'll take a quick break. Uh, a look after the break. After the break, but again, Liddy the Lion is on Instagram as Liddy the Lion. You can check out everything Liddy and Liony. And Liony, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and you guys on social media. Hey, let's keep it simple. At yeah. is the main event. At is the main event. Mm-hmm. And it falls out from there. Doing great things out there. And we're going to be doing great things here with Mayhem Mania coming up here after the break. Matt, uh, Main Street Matt has to, has to get in the mindset here. But in the meantime, I want to show, throw out to our good friends. If you're in the Pittsburgh area, uh, some good friends that have been uh, also getting a Mayhem bump over the years. Because when we started, they were right down the road here. And they had one location here in Beachview. Where all good things, all all good indie wrestling seems to intersect these days, and so does good pizza. Our friends at Slice on Broadway, SliceOnBroadway.com, and Beachview, Carnegie, the East End, and PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, they're supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with a perfect pepperoni pizza. Uh, Liddy looks like he's down with the with the slice on Broadway over there. Look at that. She loves pizza. Slice. You know what? Maybe there needs to be a maybe you can get a, a, a second line with a as a pizza mascot too. He could do there that. There you go, slice on Broadway. Let's make this happen. Hey, <laughs> it was a t shirt he'll wear it at IWC. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Come Hook on it up. down. Whoa. Come on down to Slice and get a pizza with Liddy. There you go. Damn. Hey, the the Beast Man's been down there. Why not, Liddy? Right. So go check him out at SliceOnBroadway.com. And again, because we want to help that global expansion. If you got a Broadway in your town, tweet them, PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter, and let them know that you want your their Slice on your Broadway. Uh, so, again, helping that. Helping that. Anyways, uh, thanks, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, I just got some messages that are... Exciting. Uh, we're going to be back. Also exciting with Mayhem Mania. What the hell is going to happen this week after this? Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Oh, Maybe we'll man. talk about it on Talking Key Mayhem Manito. Mania. Manito. CMLL. I wonder if he uh, tag team with Sam Adonis. Uh, it's the little monkey him. guy. El Torito? It, no, no, no. That's something else. <laughs> that's but, another oh, I do guy. know that guy. Yeah, didn't he oh, get like... I saw him in a... He got drug kicked in oh, the back. Yeah, and he like, got yeah. like obliterated in this yeah. one clip. I saw. Oh. Now we know Kimonito. Okay. And we're down with this. So Liddy versus Kimonito oh, for sure. at that some has point. To has to be. Kimonito has looks like be. a breakfast snack for, your, for, your for Liddy. Oh. There. Did you just kick me? Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> we are I here. It. It's the Wrestling it. Mayhem <laughs> Show. We are we are getting Liddy up in here. Liddy the Lion is uh, helping us with Mayhem Mania. And we do, of course, have the main event again in Jones Jr. He's got the Gatorade. He, you are so on brand right now. Hey, I'm, it's it's here. It's with me. You know what I'm I saying? I appreciate not getting anybody wet. We have a lot of equipment here. Stay hey, wet. This is good. Right. I know. Yep. Nothing wet today. Nothing wet today. But you can get wet if you would like to. Duke Davis here as well. Thank the meta. Are you still a meta human? Do we still do that? I never changed. Never changed. It's just always meta human. <laughs> <laughs> All day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> you see my Instagram posts. I, I see them. You like, see you're talking about the workouts. Posts. That is the meta human. Yeah, in action. In the Ronda Rousey shirts. Mainstream Matt. Wait till I get my Ronda Rousey. He does just not wait. give a damn about his reputation. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Mike is with us as well, as well as a myriad of people joining us for uh, Mayhem Mania. Uh, Mainstream Matt, I'm going to hand it over to you. Yes. What the hell are Explain we doing Explain it as this you week? would to a cat who cannot talk back. Okay. This <laughs> is Mayhem Mania. It's kind of a, like a competitive thought experiment. We're trying to create the best WrestleMania card possible of all time, but we have to do it using the current reality in which we're all living in. So every wrestler that we that we use has to come in their current physical, emotional, contractual, physical state. So basically, if Vince McMahon can do it, you can do it. You're Vince McMahon with unlimited resources and zero self-control. So, so basically, you're Vince, Vince McMahon. McMahon. So basically, um, Vince McMahon. <laughs> So basically, uh, we have a card here with eight matches. Um, if a card, if a match survives on the card for three rounds without being changed in any way, it graduates to the super card. So far, we've made 
one match make it to the super card where it gets locked in. You can't touch this one. Elias versus Velveteen Dream. Sorg did that. Good job, Sorg. So what's going to happen here in this round? We're going to have five players, and each of you will make one single change to this existing card with the eight matches. You can take a match out entirely and bring in a new match with all new people. You could take one person out, one person in. You can add a person or a tag team to it if you want to make it a four-way, a three-way, something like that. Um, use your imagination, um, but just understand that it has to be something that actually has at least a small percentage of a chance of actually happening in real life. I should also mention, uh, yeah, there's some guys you can't use. Um, we have this thing where uh, we give out eliminators as a reward for certain things. So basically, there are people... Uh, names that have been banned basically for being used in Mayhem Mania. Uh, so try not to be too alarmed. These aren't my ideas. These are other players who have done this. Uh, but these are the guys you can't use, okay? Um, you might want to get Liddy's reaction for all these sorts. Uh, Rick Flair, Jeff Jarrett, Drake Maverick, John Cena, Randy Orton, Brock Lesnar, Triple H, <laughs> Bobby Fish, and Charlotte Flair. Sorry, lady. Um, so. <laughs> Did you just, just strut? strut? <laughs> That's good. Um, yeah, so what we'll have here is uh, we've got five players. We've got Alex Cars. We've got Tina Keys. And then uh, then we'll go Duke. And then we'll go Ganon. And lady, we will save you for last. You will get to make the last move. Um, so Alex Cars, uh, you are on deck. And I will recap the matches. Are you ready, Sorgi? Uh, yeah, go ahead. All right, here we go. First of all, Enzo Amore versus AJ Styles, created by Dan Sandwich. Yes, that one. Um, Selena Vega, Peyton Royce, and Billy Kay versus Kyrie Sane, Io Shirai, and Asuka. That's Triconics versus Tri Pirates, created by Bobby F. J. Town. Cassius Ono and Cesaro, Kings of Wrestling versus. Keith Lee and Dominic Dijakovic, created by Antonio Garza. Trent Seven versus Dean Ambrose, very created by Lola Bradbury. Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston versus Nikki Cross and Rhea Ripley. I forgot to mention, I saw her at NXT. She's scary as hell. I was like, I was, she's scary. All right. Created by Tatiana Rose. And here we go. Uh, Tommaso Ciampa versus Finn Balor, created by Ronnie Starks. Good. Thank you, Ronnie. I Thank God I did not mess up your name. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Matt Riddle, created by Cornell from Pit Fight. And finally, this three-way. Seth Rollins versus Aleister Black versus Ricochet, created by Brandon. So let's go and check in with Alex Cars for the first move. Tina, you're on deck. Alex, are you Hi. there? So, yes. First thing I'm the, the first thing I need to address is the match that Dan Sandwich made last week. Mm -hmm. I had a feeling that was going to come up. You'll be happy to know, Matt, that I did watch uh, Talking Mayhem Mania, and yeah, I can I I too see where Dan Sandwich is coming from, but. I can't let it. I can't let it stand. Put Enzo so. against Walter. <laughs> Put Enzo against no Walter. No help from the studio audience. No help from the studio audience. Alex, so you I'm on. going to. So I'm going to drop Enzo versus AJ. The whole thing. The whole dang thing. Sorry, Dan. I told you this was going to happen. All right, go on, Alex. And I'm going to put in the match that I want to see happen. Oh God. In its place. I'm terrified. Me too. I would like to see. No way, Jose with a Y. Oh God. Versus Zach Ryder with a oh, Y. Oh, what? Simple as that. What? Oh, he brought back the match he created a couple weeks ago. You know, Alex is a good way yeah. to never get invited back. All right, thank you, Alex. <laughs> Alex you're gone. No. Tina, you you're up. You Duke, least... you're on deck. Tina. Oh, oh boy. Oh, we might have some connection problems with Tina. Hello. Oh, she's Hello, back. She's back. she's back. We got her on audio. Thank goodness. Yeah, Tina, how are you? Chair. Is the massage chair turned off? You can't compete until the massage chair no, is turned off. No, it's not turned on, but I am walking okay. as we speak right Oh, now, good. So. All right. How you doing? All righty. Okay. Uh, Alex? 
as much as that is a great match, oh no, I don't think it's right for Mayhem Mania. Oh no, that was making me go to a His own second rule. color of marker. So what are you saying? What are you saying? To Do you, it. Please? Enzo versus I'm Walter Tuna. No way, Jose versus Zack Ryder. It's gone. <laughs> Dang, just like Thank that. you. You played right into just my strategy. Like I would personally like to see the HBIC Mia Yim versus the man Becky Lynch. Ooh. Yeah. I, uh, I like Hello. it. Hello. Fantastic. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Thank you very much, Tina. I'm sorry to hurry you along there, but good move. And uh, Alex, you. you play the game well, of course. Um, <laughs> uh, Duke, you're up. Gannon's on deck. Are you okay with... You got an idea of how things are going here, Duke? Yeah, I think. Um, you see somebody, you got someone in your mind, some awesome wrestler that you think is like totally missing from this. We got to get somebody on this card. Yeah, I would like to take off uh woods and kingston just woods and kingston yeah and let's right. replace that with uh let's replace that with war raider yeah okay Whoa. and a review that's against nikki cross and rhea ripley it's a fair fight i'm i'm on board yeah I am on board with that. That sounds amazing. But you, you guys have had your share of intergender uh, tag team wrestling. We have. Yes. So I don't see anything wrong with this at all. No, no, this is good. No, in fact, I fear for the War Raiders. Yeah, I feel bad for the War Raiders. I don't know if they got a chance. I don't think Nikki Cross is going to hold back whatsoever. No, no, no. And we already I mean, know. Rhea Ripley, she's scary. Yeah. Um, okay, awesome. Um, Gannon, you're up. Liddy, you're on deck. All right. Um, so I'm looking at Lola. And I'm just going to scrap her whole entire match. There. All right, all right, all right. That's good. Let's go she's going to be really angry. That's Trent Dan. Seven and Dean Ambrose. That's, That's, yeah, Trent Seven good. and Dean Ambrose. They're gone. 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 Go ahead and put Gannon in there. Yeah. Yep. And the match that I'm going to throw in there, now courtesy of Duke for freeing him up, I want to see Leo Ooh. versus mm. Kofi. Mm. Yes, I love it. Great. Mm. Awesome. I had someone else in mind for uh, against Leo, but now that Kofi got freed up, yeah, yeah, I love that. That's for a good sure. one. Wait, wait, what was your backup match? You, hey, well, maybe, maybe some other time. Yeah, I know. Oh, maybe oh, no. You can always talk about it on Talking Mayhem Mania if we have time. Um, all right, Liddy, let's. Um, it, is Liddy only allowed to use wrestlers that are cat themed? I, I'm not putting any governors on Liddy. <laughs> Liddy's okay, gonna run thinking. wild. Liddy's a lion, so Liddy runs wild. All right, Liddy so let Mania. me just. Let me just see if, if I can. We get Lionheart, Chris Jericho versus Ernest the Cat Miller. That'd be amazing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try to see if I can. <laughs> Lady, what do you, what do you want to do? Just tell him. Just In, tell him. Whisper, yeah. whisper. Don't growl. A roar. Uh, you know what? I'm sorry. I can't. Um, you know, I just, I just remembered. I speak house cat, mm, but I don't speak right. wild jungle cat. So I might have to. Uh, Dutter. Oh, we Dutters, gotta, Dutters yeah. does speak Wildcat. We got to listen. I'll translate try to here. interpret Liddy okay. and can, get you? Liddy to. Yeah, you might have to go around okay. and get him. Yeah, He's pointing can. at Tommaso Ciampa. That's never a good sign. All right. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. What? But this one's got to go. All right. Oh, he wants And I'm going to need you. Um, the, oh, the, all right. You got a name. You're going to have to whisper it to Dutters here and right. we'll figure out who it's going to be. Figure it out. Who is, who is man enough to replace oh. our boy Tommaso Ciampa? Oh. Oh. AJ Styles. Whoa. All right. Okay. All right. Whoa. Nice choice, Lit. Styles versus yeah. Balor. Very nice. I would like Good to job, see Good job, Lit. Okay. Again, Sweet. fist bump. And again right. and right. again. I understand. They only the peripheral. Twice or once? Well, at WWE. That one time. That one time was it. Yeah, that one time. Mm -hmm. You're right. I would love to see that. Yeah, I'd like to see that again, too. All oh, right. Let's, um, before we run for the exit sword, I'll recap what the matches are right now. Um, <clears throat> Mia Yim versus Becky Lynch, created by Tina. Uh, the Triconics versus the Tri Pirates, created by Bobby. Uh, Cassisono and Cesaro versus Keith Lee and Dominic Dijakovic, created by Garza. We now have Leo Rush versus Kofi Kingston, created by Gannon Jones Jr. What? War Raiders versus Nikki Cross and Rhea Ripley, created by Duke Davis. 
hate it. AJ yeah. Styles versus Finn Balor, created by Litty. Yes. Shinsuke yes. Nakamura versus Matt Riddle, created by Cornell from Pit Fight. And Seth Rollins versus Aleister Black versus Ricochet, created by Brandon. Boom. Done. See you later on on Talking Mayhem Mania. Uh, coming up on this very same YouTube channel, the Wrestling Mayhem Show YouTube channel. Maybe, just maybe, I don't know. Well, we have time. I really want to have Liddy on Talking Mayhem Mania. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we have time. I don't know. <laughs> Goodbye. Back to your story. All right. In the meantime, we're going to get to what we learned from wrestling. But let's get, shout out to our good friend supporting show for a good long time. Our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling. It's a wild and crazy art form. And Occupy Pro Wrestling is here to look at what makes it fun. Uh, featuring articles, blogs, and a podcast that brings you interviews with fellow fans. Occupy Pro Wrestling is putting the smart back in smart work. Smart, blah, blah, blah. It's getting late. Smart Mark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go check them out at OccupyProWrestling.com. And you can see uh, almost a year ago, me, myself, and uh, Alex Carr is hanging out in a hotel room in California. <laughs> WrestleMania weekend uh, on the other end of the country. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll do it again here in a month because I am once again booked in California for WrestleMania weekend. It's funny how that, but at least I get to, I got Alex cars out there to to hang out with, right? And uh, I think there's some other uh, Kali Mayhemers. Maybe we'll have to if they're not coming this way for Mania at least. <laughs> so, all right, guys, go check them out. But any in the meantime, let's have the end of the show. It's time to find out what everybody learned from pro wrestling this week. Does anybody want to go first? I'll go first. Go for, go for it. I learned that the indies aren't dead because the king is still alive. Mm. I don't know mm-hmm. if you caught the ad for Joey Janela's Spring Break no. 3. That's what Joey said at the very end of it. And man, this was like the best ad for an indie show I've ever seen in my life. Like, I don't know if you can even qualify it as that, but go seek it out. Check out Joey's. Joey Janela's. Uh, Did they do like an 8-bit thing again? No, it's no. it's amazing. It's cinematic and brilliant and just awesome so go seek that out go check that and out. uh go check that out and you'll find out what i'm talking about excellent uh mad mike what'd you learn oh boy um i learned that all of us should really take a five second pause mm-hmm. to respect the life of king kong bundy Love who, it. Once, Absolutely. who once called me an asshole <laughs> <laughs> Feather in your cap. I mean, that seems like so. Everybody, Mike, you're an asshole. Yeah, exactly. Much respect, King Kong Bundy. Exactly. Excellent. Yes. Uh, awesome, uh, Alex. Do you do you have uh, something for what you learned from wrestling this week? Uh, I didn't get a chance to watch. I didn't get a chance to watch a lot of it, but I did uh, learn this past week that GCW can actually put on a great show in LA. Uh, without having to necessarily just call it Joey Janela's whatever, they did have a, a show out in LA this past weekend, and from what I thought, it was really good. Excellent, excellent. All right, down the line, Gannon, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Oh man, I learned that um, wrestling in a crowded, small, old movie theater on the South Side is very possible and doable. I, w- I wouldn't have thought that if that uh, didn't happen. So that's, that's what I learned. <laughs> what about you, Duke? I learned always check underneath the ring for chairs. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, does Liddy have anything to learn? You got anything? You got anything? Anything? Yeah. AJ, AJ Styles, Styles baby. Learned AJ Styles. AJ Styles is the best. <laughs> that's, that's what he learned. That's what you learned? There you go. There you go. <laughs> Who knew? Uh, I learned that even with the best intentions, Virgil will probably fuck up your spot. <laughs> and we had to go in after that. Yeah. yeah. You, you, we were playing oh, damage control. Man. Yeah. There was a lot of, like, that's the first thing people saw on that show. Yeah. Speaking of mayhem. <laughs> or on the, Yes. And just it's um, there's a clip of that on the indie wrestling um, Facebook and, and YouTube uh, if you want to see Deleted. that. Uh, and Joe Dabrowski just you know astonished that he turned down money because there were people throwing money yes. in the ring. So thank you so much, uh, Liddy the Lion on the tw- on the Instagrams, and it's the main event everywhere, right? Everywhere, yeah, everywhere. Twitter, Instagram, um, uh, Facebook were just the main event, but yeah, yeah. Real quick plug. Plug, plug away. 
this Thursday at Pitt Greensburg. That's right. The main event will be facing new opponent Matt Connard and Lewis the Nerd. Really? Yes. The Reaper and the Nerd. Yes. That's I am curious their common ground. Hey. It's for a good cause. That's right. <laughs> Either way it goes, maybe we'll have Liddy there. Um, good, good. It's gonna be a great time. Pit fight. For Connor's cure. For Connor's cure, it's gonna have a great time. Friday, we're gonna be in Ohio, Youngstown versus Death Threat Army. Saturday, Imagine Wrestling. Wait, 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 wait. Death Threat Army? Oh, yeah, I skipped past all that. That dude. sounds scary. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah. That, that wait, 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 wait. These teams you're facing King's Ransom, yes. Death Threat Ar- yeah. uh, Army, yes. a guy named the Reaper. Yes. I that's mean, where we're at now. That's, that's, just, <laughs> that, that's, that's all we can put against you guys. And they're all casket matches. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. Or on a pull casket match on a, on a pool. casket pool. on a pull match yeah <laughs> so you have to yeah there's a lot you of ever hear about things. the three way casket match in VOW yeah were you there were you there for that one yeah i you, was there yeah yeah i wasn't was, involved but that was a hell of a night yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 uh anyways uh anything else anything or else did, coming up did you imagine want to the imagine room? wrestling on altoona inaugural show inaugural show Gannon Joe Jr. will be facing bill collier mm-hmm. big time bill big collier. time mm. and i will be facing jimmy the hippie Jimmy the Hippie. Wow. Jimmy the Hippie. Mm-hmm. A Juni- Juniata? Juniata? Something like that. Juniata. I don't know how, oh, yeah. I, yeah. I don't know how I I have to face big time Bill Collier. He's like 6'5", 387 pounds. And I get a hippie. And you get hippie. Hippie's good, but I'm probably going to be a little bit more sore than you after this. Hey, I treat you to a, a nice little ice, icy hot and some ice. All right, cool, cool. Well, good luck. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So, you want me to jump on some of these chat room ones? Yeah, right? real quick, if you want. Alex Miller learned that uh, he wants to take a road trip to Seth Rollins' coffee shop. You know, if you knew that that's a thing. I heard now. about it, yeah. Seth Rollins has yeah, a coffee shop. Yeah, on the Edge version yeah. cast. Yeah. Um, uh, El Paso McZombie alert. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, 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 Enzo didn't know the difference between King Kong Bundy and George the Animal Steel. That's true. Oh, no, really? He kind of messed it up. Really? Yeah. He kind of said, oh, he might have been looking for attention. But hey, you know what? Um, Enzo, you're welcome. Mayhem Mania bump. Um, Bobby learned that EC3 is not a prop. And Elias is not a heel. Because if you're insulting Philadelphia, you're you're a baby face. Of course. Right? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, everywhere else. Yeah, if you're doing Corey something Gra- dirty, you are not a heel. I, I, he was on Corey I, Graveside. I was hoping someone was going to book Elias versus Gritty, but Elias is already booked, and I forgot. Yeah. Oh, Gritty versus Liddy. Mm. <gasps> oh, yes. Ooh, I like this. I like Maybe that's the dark match. <laughs> 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 Gritty versus Liddy. Uh, Kyle Turner learned that the WWE Performance Center was getting is getting visited by Kazarni. Sin Bodhi? Sin Bodhi. We just we saw, him saw him Thursday. On Thursday. Yeah. He was fantastic. He fought Beast <laughs> Missy right. found him in the girls' room. All right. Well, that's. That was weird. Found happened. him. Yeah. Was okay? It was weird. It, 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 it was, I don't, yeah, it sounded like a law and order yeah, plot. That doesn't sound awesome <laughs> at all. <laughs> I mean, it's not the weirdest She's thing we saw from him that him. night. Anyways, was that it? I think that's okay, it. Okay, that's. Wow. Um, what the heck was I, she thinking? Dun dun. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, main event, Liddy, and all the mayhemers out there. Uh, please check out everything going on. Uh, Talking Mayhem Mania, uh, Andy Mayhem Show. Uh, this week is going to feature a uh, t- chat I had last Thursday before WrestleRex with DJ Z. Mm. Burr, 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 burr. Yes. There you go. Uh, if you if you check out the Sorgatron Media feed, we've have been slipping that in there uh, under the radar. And uh, you can get a little preview of that. We talk about light up uh, outfits. We talk about <laughs> uh, all things DJZ. So Lucha, uh, we had a lot of fun with them. So go check that out. That's going to be on the Indie uh, Mayhem Show feed this Thursday. And uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show Master Feed or Super Feed, I'm sorry, uh, as well. And IndieWrestling.us. Um, and, of course, if you want to find out uh, why we're so mad at Ty Cross, check out uh, Rise Wrestling. With these guys, uh, um, Rise with the Y over at IndieWrestling.us. Guys, thank you so much. We'll see you next week. And if there's any Mayhemers in Fort Worth, Texas this weekend, give me a shout out, Sorgatron. We'll see you next time. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time. Don't give up what you want. Take it back. 
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.